Le'Veon Bell, in his last seven games, 1,002 yards rushing. Asking for a friend. Is that good? It's amazing how good this guy is. What a revelation he is. What, how patient he is, too. He put on a clinic, not only this past week, but really down the stretch on what an NFL running back should look like. You might find this interesting as well. He tells our friend Tyler Dunn of Bleacher Report that he compares himself to Steph Curry. I think I'm changing the game. In that sense, I'm what Steph Curry is to basketball. Don't get me wrong. I don't necessarily think Steph Curry is the best basketball player, really. But he changed the game, so he's going to always go down as being remembered. Now everyone wants to shoot the three and shoot it from deep. I don't know if Le'Veon Bell can shoot the three in transition like Steph Curry, but I think, I think we get his point. He wants to be Charlie Casserly, front office few, the kind of running back, the patient running back, the multifaceted running back, the guy that can line up wide that other kids emulate. But, Charlie, this wasn't the guy we saw at Michigan State. He was a 250-pound bruiser then, wasn't he? Well, he's definitely lost weight. You know, it's interesting. Uh, by the way, some guy called Marshall Falk, they used to line him yes. up all over the place. He's too, pretty so. good. He works hey, This guy too. hadn't invented it yet yeah. either. But, but it was interesting. You know, I went back and got my report. I gave him a second-round grade. Uh, at the time, and, and the reason I kept him out of the first round great is you didn't see enough speed and big plays from him to put him in the first round, but some of that was the offense. Now, talk about this patience thing. He had it in college. He was a patient runner. He, it took him a while to get going in the game. The more carries you got, he was better. He'd wear the defense down, but this guy would hesitate, and then he'd go. And we had some old guy with the Redskins named Riggins, and that's what he would do. Riggins is hesitate in the backfield, and then he'd go. And I wrote that in my report when I did this guy. So what's different now is the speed, okay? I think he's losing the weight, and you got the speed. But the instincts, the inside run ability, the patience, all that was there. And the receiving ability was there. They just didn't throw him the ball the way they throw it to him in our league. So there's a lot of positives that were there except the big play speed ability to me kept him out of the first round. And he was a second-round pick, Charlie, as you forecast. He was the 48th overall pick out of Michigan State. It's interesting. I think people at home would say, wait a minute. John Riggins' nickname was the Diesel. That guy might have been patient, but he was a power back, <laughs> which is more the guy we saw at Michigan State and not necessarily the guy we see now, right? Well, yes, but my, my concept is there, and, and that video... Uh, you know, his, his general video we get. But, but Riggins was a guy who, when you handed him the ball, there was a hesitation, and then he went. You, you see that with this guy. There's a hesitation. Now, Sunday, that guy's stopping, okay? I'm not sure that's what you want to do. And, and then he's going. Had a quick ability to go. But you saw the hesitation there. That's what Riggins was. Hesitate and go. Hesitate and go. And, uh, uh, and basically, you're waiting for the, the, the game to develop in front of you, and then the blockers to block, and then you go in that kind of a situation. So uh, that's where I saw the comparison between the two of them, the hesitation a, and go. It's a fascinating comparison. John Riggins, a character. Le'Veon Bill, a bit of a character, although we don't think he's ever commented on Sandra Day O'Connor or anyone else on the Supreme <laughs> Court, past or present, for that matter. Charlie Casserly, thank you.